What are the best NSFW life hacks? Keep a change of underwear, pants, and shirt in your car. You never know when a fart is not a fart. How bad is IT that you need a new shirt? Use the old shirt to wipe. Masturbate before making a big decision about someone you want to be with. Post nut clarity. Wisdom walk. Don't rub her clitoris like you are trying to get bird beep off the windshield. I own a clitoris, this is legit. I love how most of the replies are about sex and then once in a while there's a salt your pasta before boiling it. Kiss slower. Doesn't matter if you're a dude or chick, take your time. Let it build, it always turns out better. Get good exercise and keep yourself really hydrated before sex. When 69ing as the guy under the gallons, have your arms under her thighs, no over. Water by the bed or adjacent to sex setting, minimizes reducing the mood, while keeping you hydrated and hopefully cramp free in those long bouts. If you're using water based lube, Keep a spray bottle full of water nearby. Just lightly mist when lube starts to get gummy. Instant lube rejuvenation. And towels. Have a few on hand, lube and sex juice get everywhere. Edit, thank you for silver. I'm sure this is actually good advice but the thought of pulling out a spray bottle and misting someone's vulva is cracking me up. Bad pussy. Cold water gets cum off skin much better than hot water. Fun fact, cold water also gets blood out of fabric. I can finally get those murder stints out of my carpet. Guys, don't be afraid to make your orgasm loud and obvious. It's unbelievably hot when you don't hold back. One time my wife was giving me a blowjob and I had a flashback of a porno I watched a while ago. Right when I came I screamed a drop in loads. Come came out of her nose from the sudden intense laughter this caused her. Ten tenths though would drop loads again. Quote. Come came out of her nose from the sudden intense laughter. Ah, the angry happy dragon. Speed does not equal pleasure. Start slow and methodical and slowly go faster. Don't just rely on your beep either. Whisper in her ear, kiss her neck, kiss from her neck to her pussy and once you get down there really give it to her and tell her how much you love her body and how good she makes you feel or bad if that's what you're into. Also when eating pussy don't just click. Curl your tongue and do little circles. Actual sexual things are amazing. But being told how much my body turns them on or how amazing they find it is the icing on the cake. Definitely do this. It helps a lot with confidence and feeling sexy. The sky beeps. Keep your hand around the small of her back and make sure her clit is rubbing against your pelvic bone. Edit, or if the position doesn't cater to this. Get a bullet vibrator and use it or have her use it. Put a pillow under her lower back, and same with pubic bone on clit action. God? Is that you? The underneath slash sides of the boobs are more sensitive than the top of them and the cleavage. First hand, second hand, or both hand experience. I have the boobs. That doesn't answer the question. Hitachi magic wand. Edit. As people have pointed out it's not made by Hitachi anymore, just search for magic wand. Edit 2, Vibratex is the company that makes them now in with cheap knockoffs. Do I have to be a wizard to use it? Yes, level 3 minimum. Hygiene. Trim your fingernails. Long nails hurt. 
Also, if you know in advance you are getting lucky, but haven't showered the entire day, take one. But don't trim your nails just before, though. Or use a nail file. What if my kink is Freddy Krieger cosplay? Ask your partner what they like or don't like or always wanted to try. Alternatively, just poop right on their chest. You have a 50-50 shot of them loving it. 100 if you're in Cleveland. Steamy. It is okay to laugh during sex. Having fun makes you more relaxed and playful. What if she laughs at your penis? What happens if you laugh at her beep? You shouldn't laugh with your mouth full. Farts will come out quicker and smoother if you're laying on your left side. Has to do with how your bowels are situated. This is a godsend in bed at night during the two days leading up to my period. Laying on your left also works for heartburn BC of the shape of your stomach and the esophagus attaches more towards the right. Hey! Lying on your left side is also good for stomach discomfort and nausea. Particularly acid reflux. Both sphincters, the entrance and exit to the stomach, are on your right side, so when you're lying on your right side, the stomach acid is resting on the sphincter leading to your small intestine and your esophagus. Lie on your left side, it will help noticeably. If you're a Jude, and you have an exceptionally splashy poo, Give your balls a quick once over with some toilet paper. That splashback can get on your undercarriage and you may not notice. Balls are stinky enough. Doctor, how would you describe your bowel movements? Me, exceptionally splashy. Once I was invited to a friend's social gathering but declined. When he asked why I explained that I was extra poopy from an earlier meal. Gently put pressure on a woman's lower stomach while having sex. It helps both I've found. So where would you suggest putting the chips and salsa, then? You're doing something amazing, and I see you. Tostitos scoops. I bet he's using Tostitos scoops. Always pee after sex, both genders. Reduces the risk of UTs. What about during? What does that do to my odds? Will reduce the odds of having more sex certainly. Well, unless your partner's into that kind of thing. Water sports keep you cool in the summertime. If you don't want to get a girl prange and you pull out and pee on her leg. Brigante? Pregornarnd. Pregornarnd? Bing Video is great for looking for premium porn videos that have been uploaded elsewhere, just remember to turn off safe search. Edit, I don't work for Bing, I promise. Yeah, but there's a lot of potential for embarrassment. What if someone catches you using Bing? Wait I can explain. I was just watching MILF BDSM midget and scat porn. Nice try, Bing. He's actually right, though. Put some pepper on your pillow so when you're hitting from behind and you bury her face in it, she'll sneeze and that pussy will grab hold of you like a gorilla fist. They say a sneeze is one eighth of an orgasm, and she deserves something, so... Pepper. Thinking of receiving anal in a few minutes and douching beforehand? Wetter is not better. If you use too much water and it gets into your colon, it's coming back out in a few minutes with force. Stop when you just start to feel pressure. If you're giving yourself an animal before anal, you better have more than a few minutes to clean yourself out. Otherwise you'll be getting warmed up and bam that diarrhea feeling. Quote. You better have more than a few minutes to clean yourself out. One girl I was fooling around with a few months back schooled me up when I brought up the idea of butt stuff, you cannot animal yourself about 2030 minutes beforehand and expect to have a good anal playtime. Plan for an hour or more, too if possible, if you're planning to plug the exit head him off at the pass. You need to make sure that as much of the pathway as possible is cleared out, and patience and time is the only way to do that. And. 
for the love of God use tepid water dot not cold and certainly beeping not hot don't ask questions just trust me on this one on a related note I bought a portable bidet thing a couple of days ago cold water bouncing off the brown eye is one hell of a way to wake up in the morning